Hello friends, once again I am starting my journey of the neuroanatomy and now this time I am going to discuss the bones, internal structure of the bones at the lower level, that is on the facial colliculus level. Why this is saying the facial colliculus level? Okay, because in the mid part there is the nucleus of the abducent nerve. This is the nucleus of the abducent nerve. That is sixth nerve nucleus. And there is the nucleus of the seventh nerve. And especially, you know, seventh nerve having the several functional component of nuclei. But this is the motor nucleus of the seventh nerve. And the fibers are running and around this one and projecting like this this is the seventh nerve such kind of turning toward the sixth nerve is projecting here and forming a colliculus col uh, col 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 so this level is supposed to be a level of the facial colliculus this turning is known as internal genome and this is the level of the facial colliculus due to this facial nerve or seventh nerve is there so two things are very clear there is one nerve nucleus that is the seventh nerve and the fiber are straight running like this one and under the seventh nerve nucleus so this level is known as facial colliculus level of the bones now if i want to describe this level this part of the bones is divided into the ventral or anterior basilar part. I always, always talk that the ventral or anterior part is concerning with the motor activity. And the another part is known as tegmental part. This part is the tegmental part. This part is tegmental part. Tegmental part. You can see now on the board the purple color, the basilar part and the tegmental part. First of all, I want to describe the basilar part, and you can better understand the basilar part if you read or you uh, you see my video of the corticospinal tract. A corticospinal tract define a lot. Uh, if you want to discuss about the internal capsule, it's defined about the genu and the posterior limb and how the fiber are running there. It is also described the better part of the midbrain as well as the pyramidal decussion. Similarly, the fibers which are running from the area number 4 and 6 of the corticospinal tract in form of the corticospinal tract, corticopontine fibers or the corticobulbar fibers, a combined fiber mass which is coming from the area number 4 and 6, it is descending through the internal capsule, through the ventral part of the midbrain reaches up to the lowest part all the bundle all the bundle whether they are serving the purpose as corticospinal tract they will run down through this part run down through this part and decussate in the lower part of the medulla corticospinal tract then they will lie on the different level of the spinal cord corticopontine fiber the, the second one is the corticobulbar or corticonuclear fiber the corticonuclear fiber relay on the different cranial nerve nuclei. Most of the fiber are relaying or governing the from the contralateral side, but few ipsilateral side. Second type. The first one was the corticospinal, which was arising from 4 and 6 through the internal capsule, the ventral part of the midbrain, through the pons, medulla, and then reaching up to the different part of the spinal segment. Second type of fiber are corticopontine, the, the sorry, cortico bulbar or nuclear fiber which was contralaterally related to the different cranial nerve nuclei to govern them and only few are there which relay in the basilar part ipsilaterally and the fiber ipsilaterally they relay here ending here on the this kind of neuronal bonus which is known as nucleus pontis the information is coming from the cortico area for area number 4 and 6 motor area. The relay air and the fiber from this cortical mass is going in opposite side in form of corticopontocerebellar tract. Now this tract from this area 
toward the opposite side toward the opposite side and this information is going to the cerebellum cortico ponto cerebellar tract okay this whole basilar part is 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 having not only the longitudinal fibers which are passing downward crossing into the pyramid at the lowest level of the medulla and then descending downward and relay on the as an upper motor neuron they relay in the different part of the ventral horn of the spinal segment one cortico these are known as cortico spinal fiber the cortico nuclear fiber which are relay in the different nuclei in the brain stem and third type of fibers are the fibers which ending at the nucleus pontus which are the neuronal mass in the basilar part of the bones and from there they send the track on the opposite side and through the middle cerebellar peduncle this is reaching to the cerebellum in my opinion for the refinement of the movement cerebellum does not have all thing in itself it will send the information further but in a form of the cerebellar spinal or other track cerebellum is just refining the few fine movement which are generated by the cortex so this is a alternating track which is supposed to be a refinement of the motor activities of the cerebral cortex but the basilar part is filled with cortico pontine fibers and cortico spinal fibers cortico nuclear fibers most of the time from the opposite side are governing the nucleus in the brain stem and very few fibers ipsilaterally also governing these are known as cortico nuclear or cortico bulbar fibers that was about the basilar part of the bones now i'm coming toward the tegmental part of the bone when we are we are asking about the tegmental part of the bone i'm just trying by the single color by blue chalk there is a tract which is lying here this is the tract and i name this tract as the medial lamiscus okay this will be known as medial lamiscus lamiscus have you heard about the linear medial lamiscus yes this is the same tract which was generated by the nucleus gracilis and the nucleus cuneatus carrying the proper reception from the different part of the body and the gracilis fibers was toward the base and the cuneatus fibers was lying opposite side suddenly this turned into the bones now the gracilis fibers are laterally placed that the fiber from the lower half of the body are laterally placed and the fibers from the upper half of the body are medially placed but this system is known as medial lamiscus of the medial lamiscus there is the trigeminal lamiscus as its name indicate this lamiscus trigeminal lamiscus concerned with the sensation from the facial part through the trigeminal nerve then there is the spinal lamiscus and this is spinal lamiscus you know this is the crossed fibers this is the crossed fibers of thermal and true touch sensation this is the spinal lamiscus spinal lamiscus just below the medial lamiscus you can see a body this is the body of the fibers and this is known as trapezoid body trapezoid body trapezoid body we will discuss about the trapezoid body actually trapezoid body is a decussating fibers of the auditory pathway decussated fibers of the auditory pathway okay by just show there is the trapezoid body just ventral to this medial lamiscus okay more laterally there is the lateral lamiscus also there is a lateral lamiscus also okay and in short there is a mnemonic about this necklace type of arrangement m t 
S L M for medial lemniscus, T for trigeminal lemniscus, S for spinal lemniscus, and the L for lateral lemniscus. Medial lemniscus, the trigeminal lemniscus, spinal lemniscus, and lateral lemniscus onwards, and basilar part. Very easy to draw the basilar part, which is filled up with the pontine fibers and this arrangement. Okay, this is two important things are there. Okay, now. If I want to draw more, I, I have to draw. This is the tactospinal, oh sorry, tactospinal, and this is the medial longitudinal fasciculus. This is the tactospinal and medial longitudinal fasciculus. You know, the medial longitudinal fasciculus is crossed and uncrossed fibers from the vestibular nucleus. Vestibular nucleus is actually nucleus mass of the balancing purposes and it's concerning it's longitudinally running into the brain stem relaying in relaying for, uh, with the nucleus of third four six nerve so that in the balancing we can move our head and so this is this this fasciculus is known as m l f medial longitudinal fasciculus here i want to uh, share this information again there is a difference between the medial lemniscus it concerning with the proper section of the body and medial longitudinal fasciculus is concerned with the vestibular pathway vestibular pathway or balancing pathway then there is a tactospinal tract tactospinal tract this is the tactospinal tract okay you heard about this one medial in a sequence cortical this is the cortical mass which is which is almost synonymous or mimicking with the pyramid pyramid then medial longitudinal the medial lemniscus tetraspinal and medial longitudinal fasciculus same arrangement was in medulla the pyramid medial lemniscus then the tetraspinal and medial longitudinal fasciculus okay kindly remember two type of arrangement the necklace type of arrangement mtsl and the a longitudinal arrangement that is the medial longitudinal lemniscus then the tetraspinal and medial longitudinal fasciculus this type of arrangement kindly remember this one okay now a very very important thing just beyond this there is one different type of nucleus which is having a re this is known as this type of arrangement this is the nucleus which is known as which is known as superior olivary nucleus not only that this nucleus having a accessory accessory olivary nucleus and one more retro olivary nucleus retro olivary nucleus this is the actually olivary nucleus complex and where it's getting its fibers there is dorsal cochlear nucleus ventral cochlear nucleus this co these cochlear nucleus concerned with the hearing we talked through this medial longitudinal fasciculus about the balancing but these two nucleus concerned with the hearing the second order fibers from this is relaying ipsilaterally in this superior slide so superior olivary retro olivary accessory olivary nucleus and crossed decussated these are decussated these are decussated in this trapezoid body now you can assume and how where it is going after crossing is reaching into the contralateral contralateral olivary complex this side going suppose the dorsal cochlear nucleus ventral cochlear nucleus sending fibers to this crossed here relaying here okay one more thing trapezoid nucleus is also lying here is relaying the cross fiber relaying into the opposite side olivary complex plus trapezoid nucleus and running upward in a form of a tract in form of a tract lateral lemniscus if and it's relying into the 
geniculate medial geniculate body from there they goes to the area number 41 and area number 42 medial geniculate body by the inferior brachium okay once again a sequence the fibers from the hearing nucleus rely in ipsilaterally olive complex crossed into the trapezoid body rely the opposite half of the nucleus running as a lateral amiscus in the midbrain then this relay into the, by the inferior brachium it's relaying to the medial geniculate body and from medial geniculate body into the area number 41 and 42 which is a hearing area this is the pathway from this one and this pathway justify why this trapezoid nucleus is here and why the olivid olivary nucleus is lying on this level okay this was something about this that now we can't forget one more nucleus that is known as spinal nucleus which is lying here a spinal nucleus is lying here not only that superior salivary nucleus is also lying here superior salivary nucleus is lying here superior salivary nucleus is here so we talk about the necklace medial lamiscus the trigeminal lamiscus, the spinal lamiscus, and later on the lateral lamiscus. Okay. In the same sequence, which was lying into the medulla, the medial lamiscus, the tectospinal tract, medial longitudinal fasciculus, and then we talk about this abducent nucleus lying here underneath this. This is the projection formed by this abducent nucleus, and fibers from this, fibers from this is running. This is the motor nucleus of the facial nerve. Fibers are running and crossed more laterally. And this is the abducent nerve fibers. Abducent nerve fibers. Due to this internal genome of the facial nerve. Initially, the facial nerve was lying here. The nucleus of facial nerve was lying here. Then, there is a migration like this. And it is coming here. Okay. Initially, it was dorsolaterally placed. Then, migration occurs and facial nerve nucleus is lying here. Why? This is very very near to the superior salivary nucleus, trigeminal nucleus, etc. So that early reactions to the sensation can occur and a reflex is maintained. Such kind of a migration is known as neurobiotaxis. Again, the nucleus initially was dorsolaterally placed. Then with the development, this nucleus is running and reaching at the present level it is very near to the superior salivary and trigeminal nucleus so that early reaction to the sensation can take place for this reflex action the nucleus is lying here and this phenomena is known as neurobiotaxis neurobiotaxis so now and a projection this type of turning of the fiber of the facial nerve is known as internal genu internal genu I always remind you, if there is an internal genome, there should be some external genome. That's for your question. Can you write in my box, where is this external genome of the facial nerve? Facial nerve having an internal genome. This is the internal genome. And due to this, there is a projection. This projection appears in the fourth ventricle in the gross specimen. Okay. And now you tell me what is this is known as. Two things for you. Write down in my box. What is external genome of the facial nerve and what this projection is called where the, up, the turning of the fibers of the facial nerve is there. Okay, that's for you question. You, uh, you people kindly write in my box that these answer of these two questions. Okay, this is the middle cerebral pronanthal which is connecting this pons with the cerebellum. Okay. And underneath this, you can also see the inferior cerebellar pedicle of the which is connecting the medulla a little bit because this is the cross section at the level of the junction of the medulla and the pons so inferior cerebral pedicle can be seen a juxta reciform body is lying here you can make one more juxta reciform bodies juxta reciform bodies can be seen here Okay, and one more thing, ventral, ventral 
spino cerebellar tract okay you see the dorsal spinal cerebellar tract early in the medulla goes and merges with the peduncle ventral cerebral spinal tract is lying here three things under cover of the middle cerebral peduncle one is the inferior cerebral peduncle just a stiform bodies along with the ventral cerebral spinal tract again if i want to draw this i can see this is the inferior cerebellar peduncle just a restiform body and here it is the ventral spinal cerebellar tract so this diagram is a little bit complex because the nucleus of the abducens nerve is there nucleus of the seventh nerve is there superior salivary nucleus is there trigeminal nucleus is there and the facial nerve is passing a little bit laterally from the ventral part emerging like this one trigeminal nerve is associated with the middle uh, uh, this peduncle we will discuss on the upper level of the bones okay but three major things should be remember number one the basilar part having the pontine nucleus where the relay fibers of the cortico or pyramidal tract goes contralaterally in form the cortico pontero cerebellar tract and probably this tract is going for the refinement of the motor activity number 2 there is a tegmental part in the nucleus form there is the medial lemniscus then there is the trigeminal lemniscus and the spinal lemniscus so more laterally placed there is the lateral lemniscus which is concerning with the hearing tract okay the above there is the olive the the olivary nucleus superior olivary nucleus the accessory olivary nucleus and the retro olivary nucleus which is collecting the information from the the uh, hearing tract second order hearing tract cross into trapezoid body connect into the other part of the, uh, the opposite uh, uh, opposite olivary nucleus and the this is trapezoid nucleus and ascend as a lateral lemniscus while the inferior brachium this is reaching to the medial geniculate body and projected into the area number 41 and 42 so in short if i want to conclude this level concerned with the tract different tract as in the medulla in the medulla medial lemniscus suppose this is a medial lemniscus the ventral to this not pyramid but this time the basilar part basilar part medial lemniscus tacto spinal medial longitudinal fascicle all in the same arrangement and the nucleus of these fibers basilar part and projecting part is that is important thing is the internal genu and neurobiotaxis phenomenon the facial nerve If I want to discuss about the facial nerve, this motor nucleus of facial nerve is a spatial visual efferent supplying the different muscles of the face. It is also getting the fiber from the superior salivary nucleus, which is serving the submandibular region, sublingual glands, etc. And this is also carrying the sensory fibers toward this one. So the facial nerve is receiving or carrying fibers from this level this is originating this level this is the level of the sixth nerve and the seventh nerve you should remember this particular feature this is the level of the auditory pathway this is the level of the balancing tract this is the level of the cortico pontine cerebellar pathway which is supposed to be a refinement pathway of the motor activity and this is the level where the middle cerebral peduncle is connected to the cerebellum this is a, a, a little bit complex but interesting that is frequently asked question due to this neurobiotaxis and facial colliculus level and multiple time asked to draw a diagram which is uh, of the bones at the facial colliculus level okay this is something about the lower level of bones or the facial colliculus level of bones i think uh, you have enjoyed this session can you write in my inbox i'm going and what can i uh, improve okay and thanks for the patience for uh, listening very soon i will upload a video of upper level of the bones thank you